What's up guys? This is King Daddy DMac and welcome back to another beautiful day in Minecraft. So today I got some pretty cool things for you. First off, I uh, went through, kept myself pretty busy, cleaned up a lot of stuff, made our sizzler a little bit more attractive looking, built some farms which I'll talk about in a moment. And, uh, yeah, I think the most important thing that I wanted to get to right away was I wanted to make an enchantment table. So, for that, I built uh, these sugarcane farms. So, let's get us started and let's start making our bookcases. So, getting lots and lots of paper. And I will... Uh, Basically, I really wanted to get going on these sugarcane farms as soon as possible because they take a while to grow. And they're not automatic or semi-automatic yet, but uh, they're good enough for the meantime. And uh, I guess let's before making the bookcases, Ethan, let's go ahead and make our enchantment table. So I went ahead, I got some lava instead of searching in the episode for lava. I just went and got some buckets of lava I got four source blocks right here let's turn it into obsidian Oop. all right awesome to knock down any torches and you know what i need to make our diamond pickaxe before i can even get it because of course we got our diamond which is needed both to get the obsidian but also two pieces to make our uh enchantment table sweet Popped our cherry there. Let's get this obsidian. I'm pretty happy. I think they made the mining time for obsidian dramatically change. It used to be around 15 seconds, even though it felt like an hour per block. And I think now it's only like 10 seconds. So it still takes a while, but it's much better. Much, much better. Still not enjoyable. But I've always been fond of, of obsidian. Just thank God you don't need it for building too many things. I think the only other thing you need it for is a nether portal. Which we'll have to get to pretty soon. Once we uh, get to potions and stuff. But let's see. And we got it. So we got our four obsidian. So let's hurry back, hurry back. And let's make this enchantment table. How enchanting. Got our book and our two pieces of diamond, and yes, we got it. I think I messed something up with the achievements, because it should have showed an achievement right there, obtained, but of course not. So anyway, uh, this is probably not going to be the permanent place that I put it, so just for now. But I do want to build a full enchantment room, and of course that is necessary. Because you need to surround it with bookcases. So let's get going on our bookcases next. And this is what, to a lot of people, it seemed, has been the real pain is making these bookcases. Because it does take quite a bit of resources. But that should be good enough for now. And I think I'm just going to start off with two. And I'm going to make a bunch of weapons that I'm going to enchant. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Oh, here. I'll show you when I do my first one. Let's have our first thing enchanted be a pickaxe at level 1. And of course, you can see when you put the bookcases there, you've got these little alien-looking alphabet or whatever. And then you just set it right in there, and you get... Three different choices, and it's kind of random. These, even though it says something, it doesn't correlate to it. And I'm not really, really super familiar with the enchanting system, so I guess once I'll, I'll figure more about it out. What are the most beneficial levels to do? But um, anyway, let's go. We're just going to do level one enchantments pretty much for now. So, boom! Our first one. Would we get efficiency one? <laughs> It's all right, so we'll cut faster, but it's going to break faster too. So anyway, I'm going to do probably about three more pickaxes, probably about three swords, maybe a shovel, and uh, of course, I need to get 
new armor because I am just about dead on there. And oh, as you see, I also made, I didn't make, but I got a new skin for you. No more naked guy. And of course, we're going to be Ash from Pokemon. So, so cool. All right, guys, we got some, I guess, decent stuff for all level one uh, enchantment so far. We got sharpness one, sharpness one, sharpness one. So all the same for the swords. Unbreaking one. So that's decent. I like the unbreaking just because it lasts longer. Got unbreaking for the shovel. Definitely like that. And efficiency one. So it'll go faster, but it'll break faster too. Then for our pickaxes, so far we got unbreaking. Nice. Efficiency. Nice. And efficiency. And then sharpness one, of course, for this guy. Um, on our armor, I think we got all protection one. I'll check that in a minute. But anyway, I wanted to just blow the rest of my wad. We got eight levels left and i don't know the exact what's the best level to use stuff up for but once we get an exp farm going um i'll pay more attention to that and maybe make a video just on enchantment levels but anyway for this one we have eight left so let's see what we get if it's anything special is it worth spending more eh, efficiency one so garbage <laughs> but that could have just been luck of the draw so not so bad and yep all protection one on there so next up in line let me i'm gonna sleep real quick so i'll be right back just so it'll be a little bit brighter out for you guys all right good morning and uh let's see i think the next thing in line that i want to do is i set up all these farms and um, I guess let's let's do this one first. Uh, this is I sort of liked this layout for it. I don't know if it's best. I just kind of made it up real quick right now. We will make it automated, but let me knock some of this down. And it's important to get the sugar cane going if you want to get those uh, bookcases up and running somewhat in a timely manner. So we probably already have enough sugar cane to last us but I just like doing an infinite water block and then you can set all the way around like that and you space it two apart and then you can have them back to back there so I don't know it's semi attractive I'll have to work on making it look a little bit nicer but you can have it seem like a decently compact area for the amount that you get and eventually we'll knock it all out and uh, put in one of pistons so we can just push a lever and it'll push it off so i think that'll work anyway all right next you guys know about the wheat farm it's pretty much i think nine by nine with one little spot in the middle and again very soon we'll make it completely automated but then we have our tree farm and for this Eh, I might want to adjust it a little bit, but this is good enough for now. Let me just show you how I do this guy. Let me see, what do I have? Do I have what I need? No. So first off, you're going to need... Is it in this one? i put it over here. There we go. Get rid of some of these things for now out of the inventory. All right. And actually, let's just steal you and you back. All right, so those are the things you're going to need. Um, you're going to want to make a bunch of stone slabs. So let's see. I just have a 64 block of stone. So let me just put this all into these half slabs. You don't need necessarily this many, but you'll need a lot. So why not just get it now? And you are going to lay out. Let's see here. You're going to lay out so that you have two spots in between each bigger block. Let me get the bigger blocks going on. I'm using the stone bricks for these ones. So space two apart, then the big block. Then you're going to have right here a dirt block. And uh, dirt block, then another stone block, and then it would be two of those, depending on how far you want to extend it. So let's put these down. Oop, I messed up. You could do it for, it, it all depends on what you like for being aesthetically pleasing. And I'll tell you in a minute why. This way I'm kind of happy with it, but then also I'm kind of 
how I, why I might want to adjust it just a tad. So right there, that's what just each one would be, five by five, and then here, the four, and then you can just plant your sapling right there. I also like to put torches around here so that it has plenty of light, so that even at night it can give enough light for the trees to grow. So let's do one more like that. I believe right here. No. Yeah, it would be right there. So there, our dirt block. And again, I'm probably going to play around with this to change the fashion in which I do it. But this makes for a nicely spaced out tree farm so that all the saplings can definitely grow. Let's get the rest. And you see, you just go through those stone slabs so quickly. All right. Now, before placing the sapling, the next very important part is you are going to want to put a glass block. And I believe it's, I think it's eight up. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six seven yep eight just like that and by doing this one i like to use glass just because the light can shine through it and also it's I, although you can still see it it's a little less of an eyesore to have floating blocks or glass and you can see right there you have to I like it to have one block up so that you, have to, you can jump up on the stump to get the last one. But usually trees don't grow that big. But this will avoid is growing those gargantuan, annoying trees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe this was the eighth. Yep. Ow. So let's just cut that down. You need one to jump on. But this will also ensure that when I'm going up here, I can't reach that glass block to ever break it. So very nice. And then let's just throw. And as you can see, I've been farming already because I was fresh out of wood after our last project. So there we go. And this way, you will never need for wood, never have to go hunting, and actually have somewhat of a orchard or tree farm and always have those perfect size trees growing. Now, I was talking about, I may want to adjust it, is that if I walk on here, ah, I catch my head. And I don't really like that. So I may do something where either the trees are up one level higher or knock out these middle ones and make a nicer looking path. So I might do that, just knock everything down a block. So we'll figure that out later though. So that is our tree farm. Next up on our list of to-dos. Ooh, so nice. This has just been so good to me. I think I want to. I think we have enough. Yep, we have enough. Let's take our first stack of gunpowder, or TNT. Man, it takes a lot of resources. So you're going to need five gunpowders which thanks to our hostile mob system provided for us in record time. And then our, at this point, it's harder to get the sand than it is the gunpowder. More effort and work. Our first TNT block and boom, a full stack of them. So sweet. This will make, got a couple of projects planned for uh, pretty soon. Um, I want to completely carve out underneath all these islands so that instead of having to build huge structures outside we can start building stuff underneath our islands and underneath the water and really soon i want to start connecting as you can see i'm starting to build out this whole thing here i'm going to build some more islands but more so to be underwater and then we're going to connect a nice transportation uh line between them i haven't decided yet if i'm going to do it with boats or with uh mine carts i might I, I really don't know. We'll see. You guys, you tell me what you like better, the boat systems or the minecart systems. But um, we'll do one of them fairly soon. So next, I wanted to show you, for our next thing, we want to find melon seeds and pumpkin seeds so we can finish off our farms. And uh, also, I'd like to find our first uh, spawner and find a, a spawner that's close by. 
a mob spawner so that we can set up a nice exp farm to start really getting the better enchantments like silk touch and fortune 3 and stuff like that so let me show you how to do a little device that you can use with your tnt and um, we're going to need pistons too so why don't i make our first pistons really quick Let's see, make two, I think two pistons should be enough for this. Oh, I don't have my redstone on me. All right, well, I'll be back in a moment, and we will make our first pistons, and I'll show you how to make an x-ray device so we can find all those nice hidden things. <laughs> 